Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we took on the route north of Moss Deep City, which I guess we can look it up on the Pokemon app. And then, uh, we also got HM08, uh, I believe, dive from uh, Steven because we visited his house here in uh, Moss Deep City. We were around Moss Deep City, we visited this base center, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is about 125, yeah, right here. Okay, cool. And um, we also caught a Wormer, which is pretty cool. And I actually evolved that one more into my ward. It's in the PC right now, that, but I also leveled up to level 42. And I said everyone that I uh, leveled up everyone to level 42, so here they are. So here's uh, G Geico. Uh, he didn't learn anything new. Uh, Grumpig, my Twitch, uh, didn't learn anything new. I don't think Smokey, my Torkoal, did either. Uh, Skarmory did not. Skarmory Screamo. And then, uh, I actually thought off off screen, like in between videos and when I was training my Pokemon to level 42, I kind of would have, want to have a uh, waterfall on, on uh, Metroid than Hyper Beam actually. Because that'd be a second water type move at least, That's, that'd be good. So, um, and Hyper Beam uh, with Tentacruel and Metroid, the, uh, Metroid doesn't get the same type of attack bonus because it's not even half normal type. So, I looked it up on Subi and um, it does ha happen, uh, yeah, Tentacle can learn a uh, Waterfall by HM, but uh, that's an HM we'll get within the next town or so. Next Gym Badger, I should say. And uh, finally, uh, Fighter didn't learn anything new, which... Yeah, wait, he tried to learn Belly Drum at like level 40 though, I remember that. Yeah. And I think ten and I think, uh... I think Torkoal, my Smokey, uh, tried to learn... wanted to learn uh, Amnesia at like, level 39 or 42 as well. So yeah. 40 as in level 40 also I should say because that way it doesn't sound like 42 like the number so yeah so let's take on the Moss Deep City Pokemon Gym so yeah let's read the sign Moss Deep City the Pokemon Gym leaders Liza and Tate the mystical the mystic combination so th there's not one but two gym leaders in this gym they use psychic type Pokemon in this gym so yeah it's like the advice giver you know how's it going champion about Steven the gym leaders here use psychic type Pokemon if you're going against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, that you'd love for horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with um, outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you need to show you how tight you, you are with your Pokemon. Go for it, sure. Cool. A uh, Musty City Pokemon Gym, that's what the test just says, cool. Let's take on this first uh, trainer. Again, I have, uh, again, I have Guy Cut Front. So, battles hinged on strength of your spirit. Battle hin battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win. I guess you're right on that. I guess, yeah. Here's Psychic Pressed, and he has one Pokemon, it's a Curlia. Cool. Um, let's go for the Leaf Blade on this thing, see how much it does. I know Pursuit's super effective, but I want to see how much Leaf Blade does on this Curlia. It's level 37, awesome. Win a KO, awesome, nice. Off to a good start. We defeated Psychic Preston. I lost. I must uh, temper my spirit again. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the 888 Poké Dollars, though. Appreciate it. Okay, so we have to go right here, actually, and we go around. Now, in the Emerald, there's a different puzzle. Like, you have to keep on pressing switches, and then trainers will, like, spin around, or, like, from, like, square or something. And then you have to battle them when you get past the puzzle and stuff, or as you get through the puzzle. So, yeah, press on the switch right here, or whatever, or whatever it is. And then there you go. You got the first arrow, nice. There's like three of these, I think, in the gym. So yeah, here's another trainer. The roads you have traveled, uh, what you have experienced. Uh, come with me with everything you've learned. Okay. I believe this is a psychic. Yeah, female psychic trainer. Cool. Psychic Mura. I guess that's how you pronounce your name. Probably not. Actually, probably pronounced that wrong. Let's go for another leaf blade on this. Uh, let's use leaf blade on this cadab. It's level 36 in male. It's pretty cool. Nice, we got it. Oh man, almost. What we're gonna use a. Uh, copy it, oh, it's over, girl. Okay, cool. Let's go for the pursuit. I'm surprised they didn't heal there, but that's fine by me. Nice, okay. So I keep moving, it's about to send out use curly. Okay, we'll stay in with the Geico. This girl is level 36 in female. Let's go for the leaf blade on this thing. Hopefully, we can take this thing out. That'd be nice. And it, we do awesome one hit. Nice. You feel psychic Maria Mura. I can't I'm probably still pronouncing it wrong name wrong. Uh you traveled you've traveled a path of you traveled a path of greatness. There we go. Thanks for eight hundred and sixty four pocket hours. That's good to know. 
So up here's another trainer. But also the next switch actually. I see it. I see your future. If you can beat me, I'll tell you your future. Okay, I'll make sure I talk to you after I battle after we're done battling. Because I never really talk to the other trainers after I battle them. I just kinda just move on. So he's a Zat too, nice. Let's see how much a pursuit does. Is that too little 37 and female? Let's see, let's see pursuit. How much will it do? Um it does about half. Okay, we'll use um I guess we can use pursuit again. Let's see, it's gonna use wish, which I think will heal itself if the wish comes true. Um, let's see how much this does. Puts in the red, probably. Yeah, of course. Aye, aye, aye. Wish, but it failed. Okay. But no, uh, that his wish came true. Okay, cool. That's good for you. Another pursuit we get, we do, because I, I know this is that his half flying type, so this guy's type of moment would be very effective on it. But that's okay. It's gonna use future sight. Okay, that's not so bad. If we can knock this thing out first. This is, this is the only Pokemon I forget. I didn't really check. When the battle started, I, I didn't check. Oh yeah, it's on my Pokemon. Cool, we defeated Psychic Samantha. I surrender. Thanks for 888 Pokedollars, Samantha. Let's talk on. Let's pull this lever, whatever it is. Yeah. And then on. Oh, we have to go all the back around. Shoot. Okay, fine. That's fair enough. So let's go back around to this light, to these arrows right here. Nice. There we go. Awesome. And here's the last switch I think. Oh, we have to do two more switches after this. Well, one more switch after this, actually. Foo 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 foo. Watch me overtake my Pokeball tele telekinetically. War. Sometimes I'm out of sync. Okay. Here's another psychic. Okay. This one's a psychic male trainer. Fritz. Okay, psychic Fritz. I like the battle. Okay, cool. Here's a not too. Cool. That's just great. Let's go for the pursuit. It's going to be super effective. So that's just level 35 in male, so yeah, we're putting in the reds, awesome. It's gonna use future sight, okay. We gotta watch out for that later because it could attack us if you don't knock out his Pokemon quick enough. Quickly enough, I should say. There goes the Zatu, I mean Natu. <laughs> Natu's the people from a Zatu. Okay, Drefrig, um. We'll switch to, uh, no, we'll actually stay in actually. Let's use Leaf Blade on this thing. This is, Drefrig is level 35, and, uh, male. Now keep in mind that this Drefrig's. A psychic and normal type, so like sh using Shadow Bond trying to be super effective and whatnot won't affect because it's half normal type and no ghost type moves don't affect normal type Pokemon at all. Yeah, G uh, Gaiko just took the super the, took the future side attack, which it didn't do too much, so that's good. Let's go for the pistol to help you finish it off. Awesome, nice. Yeah, the traffic goes down and he's Gaiko good level 43. Awesome, okay, he's trying to win slam. I don't want Gaiko to win slam. Sorry. <laughs> Gecko did not win, so I'm good. That's, not, that's what I wanted. Okay, so Psychic Fitz is about to use a Kadabra. So let's go over to Twitch, because Switch has Shadow Ball. Nice, okay. Yeah, Kadabra is, this Kadabra is level 35 in male. Let's go for the Shadow Ball, see how much it does. It'll be super effective, I know that. Let's see here. One AK, awesome, nice. There we go. He defeats Psychic Fritz. Nice. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync too. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for for the Poké Dollars, though. You seem really nice. So let's push on the switch and then let it will go that way. So you actually have to go back all the way back around because we we'll do this all like in one big path once all the arrows are set. So go down here and then you'll be pushed right here and then we have to go from the beginning and we should have almost all of the all of the um things uh, pressed except for the last one if my if I'm doing this correctly, yeah, cool. I should switch them um, to um, I should switch to Twitch though, honestly, off screen, uh, in between battles. But oh well, lose. Well, when you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not like you're weak. I'm just too strong. You seem very cocky, but we'll battle anyway. Okay, fine. I'm not being. It's vice versa to you too, Psychic Hannah. Okay, so just since out a roll, it's okay. Cool. Let's go for the Leaf Blade on this thing. This is what's the level 36 in female, that's cool. Nice, okay, the else goes down. Okay, Curly is next, so let's switch to uh, Twitch then. Nice, okay. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. This Curly is level 36 in female. We want to get awesome.
Only defeated Psychic Hannah, awesome. You're really just, you're too, just too strong. Thanks. Thanks for 864 Poké Dollars, too. Now I'm gonna switch Gekko and, uh, uh, switch. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna actually put Gekko at the very bottom of the list, actually. Cool. So here's, uh, last turn, I believe, and our last switch that we need to pull. Up. Lever, or however you wanna call it, whatever you wanna call it, that's fine. Okay, let me see your talent. Okay, let's battle, man. Okay, this could be a Psychic Male, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, Psychic Male, awesome. As you can tell by the haircut and stuff and by the names, I guess. Uh, Psychic Virgil would like the battle. He has a Kvalt level 36, it's just shot by one at then. It'll be super effective. Let's see how much it does. Yeah, when it gives it awesome, because it's super effective. Nice. And you have a Kadabra too, cool. So you have a Svelte and a Kadabra, nice. This Kadabra is level 36 in male, that's cool. That's really cool. Kadabra, awesome, nice. He goes down in one hit, awesome. So it level 43. So psychic, defeated Psychic Virgil, nice. You possess uh, spectacular talent, thanks. Thanks for 864 Poké Dollars too. So what you have to do to get this puzzle completed is just press switch again, that, that arrow will switch from the left to go to the right, so it's in, on path. And all the switches we pressed help make the arrows go the correct way that we want to go. So to finish this puzzle, we have to go all the way back around here and uh, just take just take on the big long path. Okay, so I'm going to put, let's see, who do I want to find? Um, hmm, I guess I'll put Twitch in the second slot and well, I guess Twitch can be in the first slot actually. And then I want Metroid in the second slot, because like, Tate and Liza, they only have two Pokemon, one Pokemon each, but it's a double battle for Dream Battle, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a Solrock and a Lunatone, so Solrock and Lunatone are both weak to Wire-type moves, and then also, uh, I think I'm gonna go Twitch, because Twitch resists, um, their Psychic-type moves. Um, I think the Solrock knows Flamethrower, though, and the Lunatone knows, no, the Solrock knows, the Solrock knows Solar Beam, and the, her, the Lunatone knows, uh, uh, so um, fire, flamethrower, I think, I think it's flamethrower, actually, yeah. It's probably not fire boss, but I could be wrong. So, um, yeah, I have, um, Twitch up front to resist the psychic type moves, at least. I think we both know psychic, the move psychic. And then, uh, to shadow ball to be super effective and stuff. And then Metroid, because Surf hits both the targets in a double boss, that's why I'm going with Twitch and psych, and, uh, Metroid, there we go. Um, let me see here. Let's see here. My super, oh, my super balls are very cool. Okay, so actually, Twitch and uh, Metroid are full healed, so that's good. Let's talk to Tate and Eliza then. Let's talk to Tate, actually. Hee <laughs> hee, were you surprised? Foo <laughs> foo foo, were you surprised? That, 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 that there are two gym leaders? That there are two gym leaders? We are twins, we're twins, we're twins, we're twins. I said that four times, jeez, okay. But we don't need to talk because we can each determine what the other one is thinking, all in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Yeah, I remember that episode of the anime where Ash took on Tate and Liza. I can't remember the battle too much, but they were like in a zero gravity room, I think, which is pretty cool. Later, Tate and Liza would like the battle. Cool. So they only have two Pokemon and Ruby and Sapphire, Solark and Lunatone. It's a double battle. It's a double battle also in uh, uh, Emerald, but I think they also have, with the Solark and Lunatone, they also have uh, a Zat too, and uh, another Pokemon I can't remember off the top of my head. Fourth Pokemon, I should say. So let's go for the Shadow Ball on Solrock and Surf on both of them. Nice, okay. They both those uh, wind tones and Solrocks are both generous. Gen genderless. Genderless, there we go. And they're um both level 42. So both my Pokemon out right now are level 42 as well. So I want to do the off-screen training. I want to train all my Pokemon to level 42 that I had from team members and uh uh, of course, the, the Waymar cart was also level 342, it's in the PC right now, like I said before, or in this uh, part, so yeah. Okay, Sunny Day, cool. It's probably gonna use Flamethrower then. The Winter's probably gonna use Flamethrower, because the fire type moves are boosted up by the sunlight, so. You know. I forget what the other. I forget what the Winterton used. Wow, I didn't pay attention. Okay, Shadow Ball on Soul Rock and Surf on Winterton. They're gonna use Hyper Potion, of course. Oh well, socks. Yeah, okay, fine. I have six Pokemon I can use. You guys only have two, so I'm in good hands right now. And then all my Pokemon are level 42, so that's awesome. Oh yes, yeah. The sun, the sunny day makes uh, water type moves not very fast. Not what was the power of water type moves? Okay, you took out Grump. You took no, you didn't take out Grumpig. You just put Grumpig to sleep. My Twitch. Okay, that's fine. I have the buff anyway. 
So Twitch, um, I kind of want to use Twitch's turn to heal, uh, to wake him up with a Bufu, yeah. And then I use uh, Metroid's turn to use Sif again, even though it's kind of weakened by Kiss the Sunny Day, but that's okay. Let's see how much this does. Let's see, one tone's in the red. What about Solrock? Let's see. Solrock's in the red. Okay, cool. Psychic. Oh no, that's gonna be super effective against Metroid because Metroid's not poison. Totally forgot about that. But that's okay. It only is, it does a little bit over one third, so that's good. Okay, thank you for not using Psychic on a uh, <laughs> Metroid there. I could put it Metroid in the red health, I believe. So yeah, let's uh, not go back to my bag. I didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Okay, let's just shut up on Wintone and surf on both of them. Well, of course, you can use another hyper potion. Oh, it's good that you're always getting them out of the way now, so I don't have to like. Be stressed about them later, I guess, because I'm in good hands right now. Oh, you killed both your Pokemon. I see, that's the catch. So I think they may be out of hyper potions. They may be able to use one more, but yeah. Okay. Shadow Ball hits on the Wotone, and Surf did a decent chunk at least on uh, both of them actually. Special Defense fell, that's awesome, it's good. Someone is strong. Yeah, this stinks. Let's go with the uh, Wintone and let's just shut up on the Wintone and uh, surf on both of them like we've been doing. Like all Metroid's been doing is just spam and surf, but that's okay. We're using surf, I should say, but we can't spam any two at the same time. So yeah, the Shadow Ball sh hopefully takes out the Wintone. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. Awesome! It takes out the Wintone. Nice. So there we go. Twitch grid level four three. Awesome. Twitch to learn rest. Um, I don't want Twitch to learn rest. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want Twitch to win rest. Switch to win rest, that's good. Twitch to win snore. Oh, that's uh, cool, a rest and snore combination, that's kinda cool. I think snore makes it so if you're asleep, if you're a Pokemon who's asleep, it uses snore, it just uses a random move out of its moveset. I wonder if it just uses, what if it uses snore again, like, if it just uses snore, out of, cause that's a random move in its moveset, and then it keeps on just using snore, or have a chance to get in using snore, that's like a snoreception or something, like, cause you keep on just, I, it's hard to explain, but I don't think that's the case. Really. I think they have like a uh, kind of something that makes that not happen. Like it's a continuous loop if it keeps on just using Snore to use Snore when it's asleep and Snore again. I don't think that's possible. Maybe I don't know. This sock. Oh, it knows Flamethrower. I thought Lunatone was the one who knows Flamethrower. I guess Lunatone was uh, the one who had Soul Beam then. I didn't know. I didn't pay attention, but I don't know if any of them taken sunlight yet, so I don't even know yet. It's been a while since I played this game, so I don't know for sure. So set up on the Solrock and safe on the Solrock. Maybe this will faint it. Let's see here. It puts in the... Ooh, nice. Solrock. Uh, did sunlight fade or something? Because that was a lot more powerful than the previous couple surfs. But that's okay. Solrock fainted. We're good. Yeah, awesome. We defeated uh, Leader Tate and Liza. Awesome. What's our combination? We're shattered. It can't be helped. You've won. So take, so to make an engine, take this. We get 84, okay, we got 8,400 pocket dollars, that's awesome. And we get the mind badge, I believe. Yeah, the mind badge, awesome. We received the mind badge from Tate and Liza, or Liza and Tate. Awesome. So yeah, that, that, the mind badge enhances the special attack and special defense of a Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move dive outside of battle. You should also take this too. We get Team of 4, which I think is Calm Mind. It raises a special attack, special defense, I think, of your Pokemon who's using it. That TM4 contains Calm Mind. It raises special attack and special defense. It's a move that's perfect for Psychic Pokemon. Yeah, but I'm not gonna teach it to like, Twitch. Sorry. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. That if you go on the teleporter, you can obviously just teleport back to the front of the gym, so that's awesome. Okay, so yeah. Wow, you're, you're outstanding trainer. You're one great trainer. Thanks. Wait, let me try to read that again. Wow, you're outstanding. Wow, you're astounding. Uh, you, you're one great trainer. Thanks, Advice Giver. That's your name for, for since, like, um, we first messed, messed, uh, met in Rushboro City, you know, in the gem of Rushboro City. So yeah, it's just, I guess, advice to give her. <laughs> that's your name. Moss Deep City Pokemon Gym, Liza and Tate's certified trainer, Steven. Awesome. So now we can use Dive Outside Val, because we have the, um, the HM, the HM that we taught to Dive. Oh, I haven't taught that to Dive, actually, yet. But we have the Mind Badge, which is on, if we could do a training card, we have seven Gym Badges now. So that means we only have one more, eight, one more Gym Badge to go, so that's pretty good. So let's, uh, sweet, let's switch up my Pokemon there real quick. Um, let's put Fire Drops to the front, I guess. Yeah. So, let me think. Who is going to stay behind in the PC while we save Team Magma? Or not save, save team, not save team magma, but stop team magma. So, hmm. 
I'm kind of thinking it's going to be Smokey is the, least, uh, is the odd one out. The weakest link, I should say. For the situation, at least. So I'm going to put Smokey in the PC hill up and uh, also take out Dive for the PC. And then after I get the PC, Pokemon Center, we're going to teach it Dive. They jump for Dive. Awesome. Is there anything I have to storm, storm my um, PC? I guess not. Nope, I guess not. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I put Smokey in the PC, so now we have Diver in our, um, with us, I guess. Yeah. Switch, uh, Geico and Diver, and Geico and Skarmory. Screamo, I should say. Yeah. So, yeah, Diver. Let's teach Dive to, uh, Diver. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Let's do it now. Okay, HM08 Dive. Wood up the and Canines Dive. Teach Dive to a Pokemon? Yes. Uh, let's teach it to Dive. I know Metro can learn it, but I don't really want Metro to learn Dive. I want Diver to learn Dive. Yeah, cool. Let's see here. Yeah, should move be deleted and replaced with dive? Yes. You already have four moves, so yeah. Which we should be forgotten. Let's get a wrap, honestly. It would be a wrap or constrict, but whatever. One, two, and poof. Dive forgot how to use wrap. And diver learn dive. Now I have a general idea of where Team Magma is on the C4. So it's, it'll take a little bit, but it'll take a little bit of surfing, but we'll get there. Who would have a friend again? I forget. A fighter friend. Cool. So. Yeah, let's uh, use our repel though, to repel some wild Pokemon, like tentacles and wingles and popers on this rap in particular. There could be also more Pokemon, um, you can get, you can, uh, you can encounter while surfing, but uh, I'm not for sure on what they are, those are. We have six more super repels after this, awesome. And also I bought seven more repels, uh, so now I have an even 30. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought seven more repels from the department store in the local. That's, I think I had 23 before I did that, so yeah. I think the dive spot is, uh, here's a bird keeper. Um, let's battle the bird keeper just so we're here because we don't want to forget him because it's, it's still experience, so I guess that's cool. Let's actually switch to Metroid then because Metroid has Ice Beam. Let's tag on this bird keeper. Okay, bird keeper, ha ha bird Pokemon have excellent vision. They spot prey from great heights. That is true, just like birds in real life. Nice, okay. I think like a bald, bald eagle can see like a mile worth of distance from the sky while it's in the air. I'm not for sure though. So don't quote me on that, please. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, okay, as well as level 34, let's, just, let's go for the ice beam. Just quick attack to, yeah, let's go just quick attack and use 17 HP on my Metroid. So that kind of stinks, but that's okay. This ice beam faints it. Awesome. Cool. Nice. Bird Keeper Wind is about to send a Pelipper. Yeah, we'll stay in. We'll use a Sludge Bomb on this a couple times, hopefully. This Pelipper is level 34 in male. Awesome. I think the Swole was 34 in, level 34 in male as well. It could also be a female. I didn't really pay attention. Ooh, Paralyzed. Uh, not Poisoned. Paralyzed. But Poisoned it. There we go. Pelipper is your stockpile. Its defense is going to raise. Dang it. But it's hurt by Poison. Oh, no. Stockpile doesn't raise its defense, apparently. Interesting. It's going to use Protect this time, so it protects itself. Fine. But the Poison is still going to hurt. Nice. And it hurts by, it's hurt by the poison. Let's go for one more sludge bomb. It should have fainted though. Um, it's, again, this pelper is level type 4 and male, even though I already just said that in this battle. <laughs> when it came out. That's okay. We defeated Birdkeeper Brian, I think it said. Your name was, but I just clicked too fast. I'm sorry. Phew, I give up. Thanks for 1,088 Poké Dollars. You're really a nice guy. Even though your sprite kind of looks very intimidating, kinda. Wait, he has like he has like dark hair in in battle, but like his his field sprite is he looks like he has blonde hair or yellow hair or whatever. You know what? Let's dive here actually, because it's a dark spot. I think I don't know if I'm gonna get this on my first try, but I'm gonna guess that the submarines and the submarines gonna be in this area. We'll see it when we see it. It's gonna be in like a little cavern. I don't know how our character can hold her, his breath for that long underwater, but I'm not gonna question it. Even though I just question it, so I kind of. I'm a hypocrite right now. <laughs> okay. Is there an item over here? I'm gonna just check. I don't think there is. Let me see. I kind of, I think I, the under, the underwater kind of looks cool though, to be honest. Uh, there could be a hidden item here, but I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna, um, I'm not gonna look for it honestly. I just wanna get to the submarine. If I can find it easily. Is that I'm here? Oh, here's a heart scale. Awesome. There's two heart scales now. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. Repel effect well off, there's no lot well, of Pokemon are gonna be in here. It has to be in the seaweed or whatever it's called. I think it's gonna be, I'm gonna call it the seaweed. So I don't think this is the right area, which kind of stinks. Wait, oh no, I'm wrong. I'm actually wrong, I found it. 
Nice. This is a submarine. Submarine Explorer 1 is printed on the hull. This is a submarine Team Magma store. It's in Slipport. Team Magma must have gone ashore here. Now I don't get it, but you go to go up, you use your dive again. I guess the, I guess I mean like they wanna make a move called swim up or it's it's weird, but like we're just gonna go to the surface now. It says light is filtering above down okay, light is filtering down from above. Would you like to use dive? Yes, of course. Did I use dive again? Awesome. So now we're here in the C4 cavern, and if we go inside, is there an item around to the left or right? I don't think there is. I don't think there's enough on the left, and not on the right. Okay, cool. So who do I have at front again? I have a Metroid at front. Cool. Nice. So yeah, here's the C4 cavern. So let's put a repel on, because I don't think I my repel off, actually. So yeah, let's use another repel, because there's a lot of Pokemon in this area, actually. Oh, we need strength and stuff. And rock smash. Shoot. Man, okay, um, I need strength and rock smash too. I hope it's, okay, so you need dive, surf, strength, and rock smash to get here. I don't have Lair with me, that stinks. So I'm gonna have to give up, I'm gonna have to put another Pokemon on the PC then. Cause I don't think, can Diver, can Tentacle wear in rock smash and strength by any chance? I don't think Tentacle can, but it's worth a shot. In fact, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 100% sure now that, you know, Tentacle can't win rock smash, which kind of stinks, but I'll just double check. But I'm like 100% sure, but why am I still checking if I'm 100% sure then? I'm just gonna make sure I'm correct. Okay, yeah. This is, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and get, uh, wait, but I'm gonna end the part right here. So, who's gonna stay in the PC? In a second, we're gonna stay in the PC. I guess we can, uh, keep, uh, let's put, um, mm, let's put Twitch in the PC along too. So I'm going to put Twitch in the PC and get Larry out in between videos. But yeah, so this has been the, my, this will be the end of my, um, Pokemon Ruby Rudo Walk the Guy part. Next part we'll do this Magma Cavern, hopefully stop Team Magma. And, uh, yeah, maybe something big will happen in the next part too, which probably will happen, honestly. So yeah, so, uh, in fact, I know it will, but. Suspense. Yeah, so this has been Jacko again. I would like to thank you for goodbye and I'll see you guys next time on my Pokemon movie, Redo Walkthrough Guide.